ending and all. That was Marked for Life by Huerco S off of his 2016 album. For those of uh for those of you who have never and also those who have. And um that was basically the same 8 to 10 seconds repeated over and over for 3 minutes and 41 seconds. It's that type of music that I kind of don't love. It's just it didn't do anything, you know? Whatever. We're listening to that today because we have a Juliana Barwick song from 2016 up in competition today. And hopefully these two songs are better than that was. Hi, my name is Bean and you're watching Battle of the Band. We're on day 9 of the Juliana Barwick tournament, and that is the ninth day in the first round, and the final day in the first round. The first round basically acting as a qualifier round, so 18 songs had to battle it out to see which one gets to be one of the 64 songs battling it out for later. Uh, so after this, we'll be in round two after today. If you're new here and you're wondering what the Juliana Barwick tournament is, let me fill you in. We took every single track from Juliana Barwick and we threw them into a single elimination style tournament. And now they're doing battle and head to head competition until we have one remaining in the end. And that's the very best song that Juliana Barwick has released so far. Uh, her last releases were in 2020 and I'm sure she's not done yet. Actually, today we're dealing with the song from 2020. But first up, we'll be listening to See No, which was released in 2016 on her album Will. This is track 9 on that album, and of course Genius.com doesn't have much information, but it is also the final track on that album, so this is the closer to her 2016 album. So far we've listened to Wist and Heading Home off of this album. Heading Home was pretty good, um, I can't really remember how Wist was. These songs aren't catchy, you know, so I guess I'll catch it when it comes back around. Its competition today is In Spirit, which was released in 2020 uh, on her album Healing is a Miracle. And this is the opening track for that album. Uh, Juliana had this to say about In Spirit. Um, the first song I remember making with those was the first song on the album, In Spirit. When I added the bass, I really felt it in my body, you know, in a way you just wouldn't with headphones. It was kind of euphoric and fun. I got really excited about making the record in that moment, and I think that really had an impact on the sounds I ended up making. Um, so pretty cool to hear something about um, one of the songs in here. I don't have a whole lot of information on Juliana Barwick in these songs, but that's because I'm kind of not really looking into it much more than superficially, of course. Uh, with what I can see on Genius.com, as I do with most of these bands, really. Because what we're really here to do is listen to some music. Here is C, No.
That was really cool. I love the uh, synthesizers in that. I love the drums, especially. Super good song. Um, maybe it went on a bit too long, I guess, but it was... It didn't at the same time. It was just like a super vibey song. <laughs> you just got to get into it. Uh, I really enjoyed that. Let's check out In Spirit. In Spirit has a really nice, big, warm synthesizer that comes in about halfway through and plays throughout the rest of the song, but I wish it came in sooner. Although the way it plays out, it does act really well as an intro to an album. So 
it gives you a good idea of what kind of music you're about to get into um, and gives you the overall ambient feelings you're probably looking for when you're listening to Juliana Barwick. For me, though, my personal tastes in music lean more towards C, no, and that's the one I'm going to give it for today. Um, just had a lot more of a dynamic sound to me, a lot more going on that was interesting and keeps you uh, listening, basically, trying to figure out what's going to happen next. The drums were super cool, too. I really enjoyed the drums in C, no. We've got social media if you want to talk about it. We've got Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. There's also a TikTok account if you feel like these videos are a bit too long and you wish they were shortened down. Check out the TikTok account. I will link the songs as well as the tournament bracket down in the description of the video, so make sure you check that out. But if you look down below me here, you'll see the tournament bracket URL has appeared, and you can type that in any web browser if you'd like to. Uh, we do have a Venmo and a Cash app, and if you donate $10, I'll throw you one of these No Ringo No Life buttons. How about that? Just make sure you include an address with that donation. Uh, like this video if you like the video, and subscribe if you haven't already. Share with anyone you know who might be into this Juliana Barwick ambient chill-ass competition. And uh, let me know down in the comments which of these two songs you would have chosen if it were you in the hot seat today. Thanks for chilling out with me today. Hope you have a great night, fantastic afternoon, a wonderful morning, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Bye.